Hi, and thank you for joining. So today we'll be going over the events uh, app, going over with Launch Metrics on how to log in, how to be able to pretty much just, uh, again, checking your guests, switch between the shows when you're doing so, how to also make sure you queue everything up. And then of course, go a little bit more of the advanced features such as seating assignments, a uh, document, also how to add in guests any last minute as well too, in order for you to be able to see that. Okay, uh, so before we do, let me go ahead and then, so let's go ahead and start by opening up the GPS events app, which again, you have to download from the app store into your iPhone or on your iPad. But in this case, the presentation is going to be on the iPad. So again, it's gonna have the little number eight, which is the calendar icon. And then it's gonna bring you to this login screen here. So basically in order for you to log in, you're gonna put in the website of your lunch metrics one that we created for you. The username is again, gonna be the email um, that has access to lunch metrics. And then the password is gonna be the same for that. I do wanna point out that that same email is able to log into as many um, iPad devices or iPhones as well too. So there isn't a limit, um, which is good, especially when you have a show that's very big and you have, let's say like five iPads, those same emails will be able to log in into all five iPads. So once you do and you press log in, it'll take you to this page. So right over here, it'll then show you all of the current events that you have that are upcoming right here. You'll also notice that on the right-hand side, there's a little arrow. So when you press on it, it'll actually begin to download the entire list of all of your invitees that you have in here. Same thing goes over here. And again, the good thing that I downloaded both of these is now, for example, when I go in here, you'll then be able to see, for example, uh, anything in regards to like how many people you checked in, the total number of people, also, if you notice, like the people that confirmed yes, that to confirm no, that are pending, who you also assigned the seated, priority standing or standing as well too. Um, again, if someone in your team is making changes or people are RSVPing at the same time, one of the really good things is if you click the little refresh that's on the upper right hand side, and let's say five people confirmed yes, the good thing about that is that once you hit the little refresh, it'll also update it here immediately, letting you know that five new people RSVP'd yes for the event. Now, in order for you to then be able to check in people, there's actually two ways. You have your invitees tab, that's on the right-hand side, or the scanning. If you click on the invitees tab, this will then give you the list of all the invitees for your event. So one of the really good things about this is that you have many ways of being able to filter this. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you do have the ability where you can see everything from like seated to yes, the RSVP status, and also the categories. Um, but you also have the ability where it shows you your entire list. It gives you where you can see just check, not checked in. In this case, we always leave it as all. Well. But if you click on the three little bars that's on the bottom, you also have the ability to choose what specific fields are the most important for you. So again, in this case, seat is important because if you did assign seats for this, you probably wanna be able to see the seating assignments. Same thing goes with category, RCPs. And then the really good thing about this as well too, is that you are able to move them around. So again, in this case, seat is very important. If you click on the three bars next to it, you'll be able to toggle it up and down to whatever order you want it to be. So then this way you'll have that information right over here. Now, another thing that you also notice is again, it's all based on like how you have it set up. So it can be filtered by first or last name or by finding them. So again, in your show, you're starting off, you wanna be able to start checking people in. You can just click where it says search invitees and begin to type. So again, if I go in here and for example, type in Rihanna, you'll then notice she's right in over here. If you have a photo of her, it'll show up as well here. And then if you notice on the right-hand side, it also gives you their category, their status, and also the seating assignment that you gave them. So in this case, um, if you wanna check them in, you just click on the green button in the bottom and then it'll check them in. And then if you notice, it'll have it already done set to go. Also, if you need to undo it, you can just click here again where it says undo check-in, hold on to it, and then it'll turn it into a green button again. If you notice, you also have the ability where you can also assign to our guest if she did have one. 
So in this case, she has zero guests. So if you need to add one, you can always hit the little plus sign, type in the person's information. Um, again, if you don't, you just hit the add key. It'll just create one automatically. This is generically guest one of Rihanna. And of course, the guest does get checked in automatically. So if you go back in, you'll notice that it has it ha set up where it turns on automatically to check them in, but you can turn that off if you want to. Um, again, once a person's been checked in, you're gonna notice on the iPad that they'll be highlighted in green. Again, if you need to find more individuals, you can hit the little X mark where we were searching, be able to find more individuals right over here. Um, so again, if I type in Vogue, you can again, check them in this way as well. Um, if for some reason though, right over here, you do have right over here, uh, guess one of Vogue, you didn't assign them a seat or you didn't check them in. One of the really good things here too, is again, with right here where it says status and not assigned, you can click where it says not assigned for the seat. And then you can give them the ability to assign them as standing, priority, a seat, or edit the seat recommendation field, which is a free text. So again, you can assign them to standing to do so right over here. Um, the other thing too is again, let's say you clicked on the night assigned and you wanna assign them a seat. If you have a seating chart, it'll take you straight to the seating chart. So then you'll be able to select the seat so you can zoom in. And then if you notice, it tells you that guest one of shade has been successfully seated now on seat on B16. So there you go. Again, if we go back to the invitees, you'll then be able to see that as well here. Um, if you need to add in any last minute individuals, you can do so by clicking on the little plus sign on the upper right hand corner. And here again, you have some required fields, which is their first and last names, and it has the ability to automatically check them in as well too. So again, I can add in my name, I add myself, you're gonna notice it adds me in automatically. And it also has me highlighted in green because I've been checked in as well. Now, the other way that you can also um, be able to scan people again from doing this manually is by also scanning barcodes. So again, one of the cool features with Launchmetrics as well is that you can create an email with a barcode to be able to do a seamless check-in process as well too. So by doing so, I can go back to the event dashboard, click on the scanning button, and then from here, it gives me the ability to be able to scan. Now, once I do, you'll notice how I have the barcodes right over here available. So once I scan one right over here, it tells you that it's checked in. You're gonna notice it gives you, for example, their category, their RCP status if they did, their seating assignment, or even the guest limit. But if you notice, I try to scan this ticket again, and now it tells me that it's already been checked in. So the good thing about this is that it does scan it. Once it's scanned once, you can't scan it again. Same thing goes with this one. It tells me Anna Wintour. If, again, if I have a photo, it tells me right over here, the media, the standing status right over here as well too. So again, this is a really good way to be able to scan people seamlessly using the check-in process for it specifically. And again, if you notice, the check-in status will also update when you're checking people in, okay? Now, another thing that you can also do is you can go straight to the seating chart right over here, and then you'll be able to see things. So if you zoom in, you'll notice it'll start to give you like the invitees' names, their status, I'm sorry, their category, also, you know, where they work at, if you put that information. So some of the things that you can also do here is you can assign people seats if you need to from here. So again, let's say you need to assign uh, seat one right over here, you can do so. So once you click on it, it allows you to be able to search. So again, you can either type in their name or look through them through the entire list. So in this case, I wanna do Harper Moss. I select, and then it'll automatically assigns it. Another thing too, is if you click on the seat where someone's already existing. So in this case, I'm going to select uh, Misty Knight. Right over here, I do have the ability where I can unassign her, or I can also just check her in from here if I'm doing it this way too. So again, really useful tool here available if need be specifically. Um, so again, if I need to, let's say I forgot to uh, assign Rihanna seat, I can go right over here, select Rihanna, add it in, it'll take a minute and there it is. So then when you click on the seat again, again, it gives you the photo if you have it, her status, her guest limit. So you can see that information and then be able to check them. 
Um, one of the other good things with this too as well is if you click on the documents tab, this here specifically, you can also see documents that you uploaded for this specific event right over here. So again, maybe you have like a lookbook, right? For um, specific celebrities, you do have the ability where you can download them all or you can select each one individually. So then when you do this and it downloads it, you then have your lookbook right over here. So that way when a celebrity comes, you'll be able to recognize them as well. Or again, maybe just a backup guest list if that needed be. One of the other things with this too is that with the GPS event app, you do have the ability to also check people offline. So again, let's say your Wi-Fi is down, this event did get downloaded. So let's say I set it up to go offline. So I do that, I go back to my test, right over here when I start to select people to check in. So again, I'm just gonna check some individuals in right over here. Let's say because I'm finding them, you're gonna see when I go back to the event dashboard, you'll have this exclamation point saying, Q needs to update to actions pending. So again, if you click on the little refresh page here at the top, you're gonna notice that it's gonna sync up those individuals. It'll ask you to go back online. And then from here, you'll then be able to notice that that alert gets removed because it's been synced up. One of the good things about the offline feature too is, for example, let's say I do scan in more individuals or check them in manually. Oh, I forgot to turn it offline. So let me go ahead and do that. So again, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna check in more individuals. And then I go back to all events and then I click on the little gear icon and let's say I try to log out right over here. I log out, it's not going to let me because again, there are still pending actions. So you are unable to log out until you actually finish queuing all the people that you checked in offline. And if you notice here, you also have that little exclamation point showing you with the red triangle. So again, I have to set it up online for it to be able to queue all those people that I scanned. And again, this is something that again, you will have to do if you're using multiple iPads, you do have to refresh to make sure that they all have the same number for checking in. If you did scan any people offline to make sure you do. Um, so again, this is pretty much like the basics with it itself on how to use the feature itself. One of the other good features that we do have available is let's say you do have interns that are helping you out. And again, you have multiple events, but you only want them to be able to access to just one event to focus on and not the other ones. You, when you log in here for the very first time and you select the event, you're gonna notice that there's a little lock icon available in the left-hand corner next to all events. So then if you click on it, it gives you the ability to lock this event. So once locked, only this event can be accessed until it's unlocked by validating your account password. So again, now that it is, again, they only have access just to this event, but let's say they try to click back to the all events to see the other ones, you do have to enter in the password that you use to log into the event app in order to do so. So again, that's another good way to also keep your list private. Again, if you don't want interns to be able to have access to the other events if need be when you have multiple shows, let's say throughout Fashion Week. Or in this case, maybe the designer is also, team is helping you with check-in. This is another good way to prevent them from seeing the guest list from other shows if that is the case. So again, if I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and once I type in my password, it'll then allows me to unlock the event to be able to do so as well for this. And again, after all of this is done, you can then go back to all of your events, click on the little gear icon, and then you can go ahead and then log out. Hopefully this video helps. Let us know what you think about this. And thank you for attending.